Prescott's assembles a large variety of high-quality surgical microscopes for many medical and dental specialties. However, the microscope package we recommend for audiologists consists of the wall-mounted Omni-10 operating microscope, a powerful fiber optics light, and a video camera that can be interfaced with any kind of TV monitor, storage system, or in the case of a large group or university, an LCD. The microscope is compact when not in use. It's mounted on the wall with a wall plate that can be installed by your Prescott's technician. The flexible arm easily swings out with tighteners to keep it in position while in use. And the most important part is the Zeiss binocular lens system, which includes independently adjustable binocular lenses, level of magnification control, and fine focus control. To demonstrate the basic concepts of focusing the microscope, I'll be using a West Tone Technique mannequin. Turn on the light and make sure the light is on the patient's ear. Then look through the binocular lens and to achieve general focus, push forward and backward until the outer part of the ear canal is in focus. This is the magnification wheel. Start at a magnification of 1.0. This is the furthest away magnification. The binocular lenses are located here and can be adjusted independently if necessary. You'll find these lenses provide excellent field of vision with or without wearing glasses. The fine focus control is normally used to change your depth of field during a procedure. Here's a demonstration on the basic operation with a patient. With your patient seated, position him or her at a height where you can comfortably view the ear. Take the Omni-10 handle and adjust the microscope's arm so that it's approximately one foot away from your patient's ear. If the arm moves or drifts, tighten the lock. It also helps to tilt the patient's head slightly away from you. Turn on the fiber optics light and adjust the amount of illumination to your preference. Then without looking through the microscope, position the light on the patient's ear. New users tend to look through the scope while trying to find the ear and it's not always easy to do this. The better way is to position the light without looking through the lens. Now with the scope positioned correctly, look through the binocular lens and stabilize the patient's ear and adjust the gross focus by moving the microscope in and out until you achieve the correct focus. Once focused, make sure that the binocular lens have equal vision between eyes. At this point, it's a good idea to look at the video monitor to make sure it's in focus since it may be different from what's seen through the microscope. Now you see and the patient sees the same thing. Now begin the ear examination and if necessary, cerumen removal. And you'll notice that after the microscope is stabilized, your hands are free to pull back on the patient's ear and secure their head position while using the other hand to insert and manipulate your instruments. If you're not using a speculum and you don't need to, you can push back on the tragus with your instruments to provide an adequate view of the ear. No doubt it'll be necessary to occasionally readjust the focus as patients move or you have to look away if you need another instrument. Again, just look through the microscope and adjust the handles towards the patient again and away until you get good focus. You'll find that only after a few weeks you'll be comfortable with this part of the procedure. So let's go over the basics again when you see a patient. First of all, seat the patient. Adjust patient height. Extend the microscope's arm and tighten. 
turn on the fiber optics light, adjust the amount of illumination, position the light on the patient's ear, and stabilize your patient's ear while adjusting focus, equalize eye focus, and then check the video monitor and begin your examination.